Today we are joined by one of our related art teachers, Miss Boris Peckinpah. So you're a teacher here at Miami. What inspired you to go into teaching and what was your journey like into music teaching? Um, so I was always as a kid really fascinated and curious about um, the instrumental world. I remember mm -hmm. um, like going to parades and seeing the marching band and when I was in elementary school, um, the older groups like the middle and high schools would come over and mm. do performances for us and I always look forward to those I don't know why but I did um, so when I was in high school I was really having a hard time because I did well academically but I had also put a lot of time into music right. so I really struggled to decide which way I wanted to go what I wanted to do in college and I actually started out at Purdue in a different major decided to switch to education music education is not offered there so I had to transfer mm. to Ball State and ended up getting my music degree that's really nice. Okay, so you're a professional musician as well. So how did you in, so how did your journey as a trumpet player begin? Um, so like I said, I, I started in um, uh, middle school in sixth grade playing, and um, as I got older, I started practicing a lot more. I put a lot of hours into practicing. I was playing six to ten hours a day, easily five days a week um, through high school. Um, and that led me to start getting paying gigs. And um, then I started playing in other ensembles, meeting more people that reached out to have me play uh, professionally and for money as well. So I still get to do that some today. So for those that may have not stepped into the band room, can you tell us more about your role as a band teacher, director, and what our music department has to offer at Miami? Yeah, so I teach uh, beginning and uh, intermediate advanced students. So I start kids out from the very, very, very beginning. So if you don't have music experience, that's totally fine. Um, in sixth grade, in the beginning seventh and eighth classes, we start with the bare basics, picking out instruments, and then getting started making sounds, learning to read, and all that good stuff. Um, and then in the advanced groups, those are groups that have students that have been playing for two and three years, and we can do a lot more um, difficult music in those groups. Mm -hmm. So, could you demonstrate um, the? I see you have the trumpet here with us. So, can you demonstrate or tell us about the trumpet? Sure. Um, so, this is the instrument that I picked when I was in sixth grade, and this is what I've been playing since then. So, twenty some odd years at this point. Wow. Um, so, I'll play a little snippet of. I think it's a Star Wars song for you. Okay, so we have a video that shows you playing the trumpet professionally. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little about this performance? Yeah, um, so I play in a traditional British style brass band, which is made up of all brass. And instead of trumpets, we use a cornet, which is actually like a shorter version of this. It's just got a slightly different sound. And again, it's a traditional British instrument. Um, so this performance is from a few years ago at PFW on their um, auditorium stage, which is gorgeous. It's a very pretty concert hall. So what mo motivates you to be a part of the Miami Flame family and what does? Um, so I have been here since I got out of college. This is where I started and I've been here for the last 10 years at this point. So it's been really exciting to see the change and growth in the music department here and it's fun to be a part of that. So is there, um, <laughs> so for any students who have never played an instrument or want to learn more, what can they do? Um, if anyone is interested, um, chat with your friends, let me know, give me your name, and we can always look at possibly getting students into the class. Um, <clears throat> we're getting to the point where it's getting a little late for this year because um, the beginning classes aren't really beginning anymore. They're into kind of more um, difficult stuff. But um, semester is always a good time to try to join or at the beginning of the following school year. Okay. Is there anything else you would like to share with the students of Miami High School? Uh, just like we said, if you have an interest in learning an instrument, now is the best time to do it because um, right now as students, you get five lessons a week for free. When you're an adult, it's a lot tougher. One, to find the time. Two, you have to pay um, for private lessons. And at that point, you're only going to get them like once a week. So if you have any interest, now is really the time to do it. Um, sixth and seventh graders, if you're thinking, hey, maybe this is something I want to try, um, 
next year at the start of the school year, sign up, give it a shot. Thank you so much for your time with us today and sharing about your music career. Um, so now we have a student we'd like to spotlight as well. So we're going to go ahead and head over to our student spotlight. 